Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? Oh, nice to see you. Well, today I'm going to grab another horse, so if you guys want to come along with me. And so I've got a bay mare here, quarter horse. Come here. Come, come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. There we go. So here we're going to stick the halter on. Ask her to come out. Come on, bud. Good girl. Good girl. Who? Good girl. Stand. So when I ask them to stand, they're basically not to move their feet. And uh, just wait, wait for me. I'm going to take her pajamas off here. Peekaboo. Good girl. Good. Stand. And I'll we'll just put this blanket over here out of the way. Like all good little ponies, she's going to stand and wait for me. Hi, kid. There we go. So what I look for, you know, like with horses is how, how can I work with them as to what kind of demeanor they have. And yeah, I always pay attention as to how they think. Hi, kid. Hi. Yeah. Okay, so we'll grab a brush here. All right. So when I, uh, when I look at her here, um, I take the, uh, her day blanket off. I'm kind of looking uh, at her, at her shape. Um, to see how she's looking, uh, making sure that she's getting enough feed um, and exercise. I look at her muscle tone and uh, see what she's, uh, what kind of development of muscles that she has. Okay, I'm um, looking for you know any marks on her as well that she might have uh, accidentally uh, received uh, from playing around in the box stall a little bit too much. So, uh, because before I ride her, I, I want to know as much as I can about her. So when I do go to get on her and ride, um, I'm not looking at any other problems that might, uh, might already be there. Okay, yes. You step back, step back. There you go. So my big thing with these guys, oh, I know a horse is a horse, but they've got to learn, they've got to learn manners. And, and be respectful, okay? So they're, they're not all the same. Everybody has got their own personality. So you have to work with them individually from a mental point of view. Uh, the physical stuff goes without saying as well. Yeah. So I'm just, I also look at the coat to see how they're doing as well. Whether it's dull, you know, or flat or matted. And it's always a good idea to clean them off each time, right? And, there's noise, and it's nice to see a, a good shine in the coat so you can make any dietary adjustments if need be, if you feel there's too much or not enough, uh, especially like oil in the, uh, in the diet. Again, depending on what it is you're feeding. This horse, like a lot of the guys that come in, get a lot of extra, you know, supplements to, uh, to help with the muscles, the muscle movement. The uh, elasticity of the muscle, we want the muscles to be able to stretch and contract effortlessly. So 
So I'll just give her tail. I'm not going to pull the tail today. So, and here I've got a little mark from her that happened the other day. And then on the hawks here in the box stall. And as you can see in here, she has quite a bit of bedding. So uh, a lot of times those uh, sores will come up on the hawks if there's not enough bedding in and they're rubbing too much on the, uh, on the concrete or the mats. But we do our best here to try and make sure all the horses have got as much shavings as they need um, to make sure stuff like that doesn't happen. But again, it just depends if the animal's sore from being rode. Um, sometimes when they get up, they might slip or something. It, it, it just depends on what's going on. It's not a, a super big deal, but it's something a guy should always watch because you can get that on the, uh, on the front end as well, on the forehand, up on the knees as well, okay? And as you guys know, you should always brush with the hair, with the grain of the hair. Oh, we have a friend that's come to join us as well here. Wow. Wants, wants to be on camera and enjoy a little bit of YouTube experience as well. That's very nice. Okay, body-wise, she's looking pretty good. Okay, so her top line looks good. And she's got uh, no white spots or anything that are developed up on the withers here. It's, it's all natural coloring. So there's no pressure points from the saddle. Um, on her on either side and you can see that her back is running nice uh, Flat but rounded this way all the way up to the croup area, okay, so She's look she's got a good back on this one and this is what we uh, We want with all of our we don't want anything hollowed out here or them dished down in the back at all so Make sure that you guys always work the top line of the horse, which all comes from, from exercising them. We do have some other machines that we use as well that uh, we put on the horse or have the horse uh, stand or walk around, like hot walkers, for example, and uh, vibrating plates and, and uh, vibrating machines that actually sit on, on the horse to help develop that you know, uh, muscle group as well. Okay. So are you gonna give me a kiss? Kiss, 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 kiss. There, there we go. So I like to play with the horses a little bit. It kind of keeps them uh, engaged and focused on me. You know, and they can have a lot of fun as well. So I kind of have a little bit of entertainment for them too. But they have to be respectful back to me. Okay, so generally speaking, I, I have to say that I'm, um, that I'm happy with what I'm looking at uh, overall with her development, with, in her legs and in her chest and in the, in the torso and the body, right through the hind end here, uh, through the stifles, through the Gaskin Hawks right down to the Fetlocks. Uh, this horse here is a rating horse. She has uh, sliding plates on her. We'll just have a look at your foot here. Okay, so here, here are the sliding plates. One nice thing about when they're on, on sawdust, they don't plug up too much in the frog here. So, but anyway, these are what uh, one inch sliding plates look like on a horse this size, okay? Uh, the trailers aren't too long, so they don't get torn off, but there's enough trailer there to help guide the foot 
uh, to keep it straight when she's sliding. Okay, so and then when you look at the uh, when you look at the hoof, the sole itself, there's nothing that is uh, looking out of out of or, out of the ordinary here. It all looks pretty good. If it gets too hard or the problems, we can put conditioner on there to uh, to help keep the sole a little bit soft. Okay, so a safety aspect of being around an animal is you want to stay close to them. So you should always have one hand on them um, uh, when you're working around them. And then in this case, what I do is I come down on the inside and pick, put the, the outside of the leg against my arm and reach on the inside and have them like this, okay? For what I do with them. If I was doing some farrier work, I would, I would actually get the leg up and set across here more so it's right in between my legs, okay? But a lot of my farrier work uh, is uh, contracted out. So all I got to do is make sure that the horses will stand quietly for the farrier and just wait for him to do his job, okay? All right, and then on the front, again, now I know guys that have been kicked in the face. Um, I'm not gonna say necessarily intentionally by a horse, but if there was a fly, flies here, then I've seen this hind leg come up and we'll just give the horse credit and it went to kick the flies off its belly or whatever. And because the guy had his face down here, he actually got kicked in the face. So what I would recommend is putting fly spray on in those situations, okay? So you have to kind of be thinking a little bit ahead of your task uh, and what's going on. So this is a safety issue, so you should be thinking safety. So again, I'm down the side of the horse. I'm going to ask for a foot, and then they should just give it to you. They just, the girl, and I just put them down after. Foot, on the inside again, foot, foot, come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Good. And that's nice and loose. And here we're just going to clean out the frog. So we keep our stalls pretty clean. Um, the, uh, the sole can get a little bit uh, hard. And again, we, we put conditioner on here or um, we can also put sole pack on there, which I can uh, show you guys on another video um, for uh, drawing the swelling out or inflammation out of the out of the uh, sole wall, um, whether, it's, um, whether it's dry um, from, uh, from the bedding or just generally speaking, because we don't let a lot of urine, you know, stick around in there because I don't want any problems with, with uh, bacteria. There's always so much going on. Good girl. There's always so much going on with these guys and so much to talk about. So uh, you can't really do it all in one shot. Can you step over? Step over. One more step. Okay, again, here I'm on this side. She was already anticipating me. Good girl. And that's what the plate looks like on the right hind as well. Easy. And I always check the back of the pasterns for uh, any type of scratches, you know, or cuts or anything. 
dry skin, all that kind of stuff, as well as the forehand. Foot, foot, hey, foot. Here you go. Okay. Now some of these hoof picks, they come with brushes, which I do have as well. But she gets picked every day, so. But anyway, so again, and hang on Katie. And again in here, I make sure the back of the pasture is clean, that there's no cuts or anything in there, or she's caught herself on the bulb from her hind, okay, or there's any problems with bacteria or anything like that from bedding. Okay, so other than that, once you've gone through, now a guy would uh, look at tacking her up, getting her ready to ride, okay? So I hope you guys found that informative. I'll show you some other products on the next video I do with this to give you more insight as to what's going on because there's so much out there it's crazy so anyway thank you very much for your time and we'll see you next time ciao